Hello, this is Alex on Pungio Techno Valley Weekly News. Here's the news from the fourth week of May. First up, Naver and Hanoi University of Science and Technology, or HUST, host Vietnam's first AI hackathon successfully. Naver and Hanoi University of Science and Technology, or HUST, Vietnam's most prestigious university in engineering, successfully completed Vietnam's first artificial intelligence hackathon, BKAI Naver Challenge 2022. Naver announced the establishment of a global AI research belt centered on South Korea, Japan, France, and Southeast Asia at the 2019 debut, welcoming HUST as its first partner in Southeast Asia in 2020 and opening a joint AI center together last year. A total of 80 teams and 300 college students from all over Vietnam participated in a two-day hackathon from May 21st, drawing much attention from the local AI research community. The AI hackathon was divided into three areas, natural language understanding, gesture recognition, and OCR. Of the 80 teams, 15 teams that proposed the most effective solution made it to the finals, and three teams in each category won the $1,000 prize. Hak Dong Jin, Chief Executive Officer of Neighbor Vietnam said, due to the prolonged COVID-19 pandemic, it was relatively small, but still applications flooded in over two weeks. He added, through this AI hackathon, we were able to confirm Vietnamese enthusiasm in the global AI research belt, and we are planning to actively cooperate with us in fostering R&D and talent in Vietnam. Meanwhile, Neighbor and Hust have successfully conducted five research projects over a year and released four datasets and presented 10 papers in a world-class academic conference. In addition, Neighbor Vietnam also plans to open a global development center in Ho Chi Minh City and hire about 300 outstanding developers in Vietnam by 2023. For our next story, Neighbor Clova note to enter the Japanese market starting to target the global market in earnest. Neighbor's voice recording artificial intelligence, Clova Note, will expand across the globe, starting with the introduction of its service in Japan. Neighbor announced on the 24th that it had released Japanese version of Clova Note. The service can be found on the PC website and on the iOS and Android app markets in Japan. The basic functions are almost the same as that of the Korean version. If you record a Japanese voice directly from the app or upload a file, it is converted into text and it is equipped with a bookmark function, a memo function, and a search function. Similar to the Korean version, it can recognize different speakers. However, some functions such as sharing, video conference connection, and multilingual simultaneous recognition will be updated later. Korean and English recognition will be provided during the first half of the year. Neighbor also increased accuracy by applying HyperClova's technology to Clova's own Japanese voice recognition, Nest or Neuro End-to-End -end Speech Transcriber, in the Japanese version of Clova Note. It improved performance by applying self-guided learning techniques that can be used for AI learning, even for data that is not labeled. Starting with Japan, Neighbor plans to expand its global business by introducing Clova Note to the North American and Asian markets in the second half of the year. In addition, it will strengthen its connections with various work tools along with work accounts and group management functions to develop services that are specialized in the working environment. The competitiveness of Clova Note is its unique voice recognition based on Neighbor's AI-based voice technology, said Han Iksung, head of Neighbor, who leads Clova Note. We will make efforts to provide convenience to global users in their everyday lives through AI voice recording. For our third big story, Zhang Hyungwook, CEO of WeMade, said we are different from Terra. He said he would press ahead with issuing stablecoin. Zhang Hyungwook, CEO of WeMade, put an emphasis on the stability of the WeMix system, saying Terra Luna and WeMix are fundamentally different in terms of the risk of the Peggy, ahead of the launch of its stablecoin called the Dollar Mix. CEO John said at an online press conference on the 24th of May, WeMix represents an economy where game coins and non-fungible tokens, or NFTs, are traded. It's not a coin without 
use cases, he said. We made announced its WeMix 3.0 plan, which mainly focuses on the launch of its own mainnet and the issuance of the stablecoin WeMix dollar. This plan involves a payment of up to 20% interest if WeMix is deposited for the period of one year. The Terra and Luna coins, which paint, also offered a 20% return, raising concerns that WeMix may follow in the footsteps of Terra. CEO Zhang added, the biggest difference with WeMix is it is a stable coin listed by a company, and stressed that, as a listed company, there are many procedures to follow, such as compliance monitoring, internal accounting, and auditing, as well as getting various certifications such as IMNS and international standards. We made stablecoin is to ensure stability when trading coins and NFTs in 11 games on the exchange, he said. We will proceed to a level that we can deal with. CEO Zhang also expressed regret over government regulations for P2E games. Only Korea and China are banning the P&E or P2E market now. He said the government should study the advantages and disadvantages of P&E and it takes smarter approaches. However, he added, if the law is set in any way, we will comply with the law and do business. For our last main story, Hankook Tire unveils Ion tires exclusively for electric vehicles at the tire exhibition in Germany. Hankook Tire and Technology announced on the 22nd of May that it will participate in the Tire Cologne 2022 an international tire exhibition held in Cologne, Germany from the 24th to the 26th and unveiled ION, a tire brand exclusively for electric vehicles for the first time. The Tire Cologne is the world's largest tire exhibition in which major global tire companies participate. This event was held for the first time in four years. Hamu Tire explained, the ION was developed with the goal of being a high performance premium product from the design stage, so it perfectly realizes the performance of high power electric vehicles such as pure electric sports cars. ION is characterized by being equipped with Korean Evolution technology, which overcomes the trade-off in which a certain performance aspect is raised and another performance aspect is lowered. The company emphasized that it exhibits performance optimized for the characteristics of electric vehicles such as by increasing lateral rigidity to withstand the load of heavy electric vehicles, realizing excellent handling performance and providing an optimal low noise environment. With ION, Hulu Tire has completed the industry's first full lineup of tires exclusively for electric vehicles that can be used during summer, winter, and all four seasons. Starting with this exhibition, ION will be launched in the European market first. Products will be released sequentially from August to domestic and other overseas markets. And now, it's time for the quick news of the week. First up, Kakao Enterprise provides Enter Us with its real-time video streaming platform. On May 24th, Kakao Enterprise announced it would provide Enter Us, an event tech startup with Kakao iConnect Live, the real-time video streaming platform. Next up, Sky Varicella, a live Varicella virus vaccine from SK Bioscience, is poised to advance into the Latin American market through the international supply market. SK Bioscience, for the first time, exported the first batch of its chickenpox vaccine worth $31.27 million as requested by the Pan American Health Organization, an affiliated organization of the United Nations. Third up, SPC's Paris Baguette opened up a future-oriented store named Lab Paris Baguette. Lab of Paris Baguette opened in front of Hangyo Station in Songnam, Gyeonggi Province, home to many different IT companies to reflect the features of the region. This direct management shop with the concept of Lab allows customers to experience innovative products and services from Paris Baguette. And that's it for the Hangyo Techno Valley Weekly News. My name is Alex Sigrist. I'll see you next time.